Okay, second phase of painting the shrimp. Uh, what I've done is I've selected the complementary colours blue uh, with orange here, yellow and purple here, and red and green here. So I've indicated them by uh, putting the letter forms there so I won't make a mistake. What I'm going to do first is look at looking, putting the yellow in, nice bright yellow here, again holding the brush low down. You can see, put the yellow in here. And the Y indicates that that's where the yellow will go. Had students in the past make mistakes by not labelling, obviously this is one way of making that foolproof. So there's a the yellow. Now we can start adding the purple. Again, get the red, as you can see, a little bit of blue. As we've been taught before, you put the lightest one down first, add a little bit of the stronger one. There's a purple, tiny bit more. And put the purple down here, look at the contrast you get. Now you can actually make different types of purple, we'll make a darker purple here so you get contrast between a saturated and non-saturated. So there's another purple here. And look at the difference in the contrast. And we can have a really, really dark purple. And there's a bluey one right at the end there. Get the maximum contrast. You see? So there's different types of complementary contrast between the saturated and unsaturated purples. Now we can go on to looking at blue and orange. Let's put the blue down first. Nice thick blue. Here we go. Again, holding the brush like a pencil so it gets as much control on the brush as possible. There we go. Blue's gone down there. Again we can look at saturated and non-saturated oranges. So let's look at maybe an orange which we produced before. Uh, let's have a look here. A strong orange which would probably be this one here in here like so and then we can add maybe a less bright orange like this one here a little bit different probably nearer to this side here we can put that possibly all the way down there again we've got two types of contrast here we've got a really strong orange against the blue and then the slightly lighter, more yellowy orange against the blue as well. Okay, we're going to be looking at red and green next. Get some red here. A nice strong red, you see that? We can also vary the the red as well. We can actually dilute it so it's not so strong. Another form of contrast here. There we go. Let's have a look. Do some more maybe over here and vary the red and its strength like so and then we can add bits of green here let's go for really strong green yeah, like that one mix it thoroughly as you can see and be a really strong green here these bits and then obviously you've got the contrast between the red and green because they're quite near to each other you'll get the contrast the further away say the red was over here the green was here it wouldn't have such an effect so we'll get a stronger green here like so maybe we can do a variation here so a really, really light green. Mix it thoroughly, as you can see. This light green will probably emanate there, that's right. And again, light green. Now, well, let's go back and finish off the shrimp. I think what we'll do now is we'll just play around 
with opposite colours. There's a bit of yellow there, yellow here, yellow here, and let's get some purple in there. It's up to you, I mean, where your complementary contrasts are, but try and get all three in like I've done here. And finally, I think we'll do a little orange and blue. So we get the orange in here and blue either side, quite deep. And there we go. The shrimp painted different complementary colours and different strengths of contrast as well.